Hey everybody, what's going on? Coming to show you a uh, another bunch of stuff I got thrifting and yard selling and flea marketing this weekend. And uh, I have to show you my cat who doesn't think I know she's there. That's Spaz. Um, and uh, let's uh, let's just get to it. So I'll start with the thrift store stuff. Um, first on Friday. Uh, went to Salvation Army, found Lord of the Rings the Third Age in shrink wrap. Ten bucks, uh, a little high, but um, I think it still goes for about 40 new, so uh, not too bad. Um, picked up another copy of Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party 3. It was five bucks. I think this is finally coming down uh, from uh, the $15 mark, so I don't think I'm going to pick it up ever again after this one goes. Um, for dollar ninety nine at Savers, picked up a uh, TI eighty three plus. I can't get it to turn on. Um, it's kind of a bummer. The inside doesn't look too bad. I'm not really sure uh, why, but it uh, doesn't seem to work. Um, came with a Radio Shack uh, dictionary slash spell checker. Um, I'm not really sure if that's worth, if anything. Um, Stopped at a another thrift store where I got a PS2 Slim. It was uh, 20 bucks. Came with a controller, came with the power cords, came with this, uh, this controller, which um, I guess is just synced to hardware on the inside because it, it works without a receiver. I didn't know that was a thing, but that's pretty awesome. Uh, and then I found this at Goodwill, another uh, giant Ninja Turtle. Um, this is better than that last Michelangelo I found that was kind of cheap. This one's a little bit taller. Um, still not as valuable as the movie versions or the, uh, the like, 80s, 90s cartoon version. But, um, I think, uh, I'll pair this with the other, with the Michelangelo that I got a while ago. He still hasn't sold. Probably, um, probably get 40 bucks for the two of them together, hopefully. Um, then, uh... And it's a cat licking tape because she likes tape. Um, then uh, the same thrift store picked up an N64 with uh, Super Mario 64 for um, this fifteen dollars. Came with this uh, this gold uh, N64 controller, which is pretty cool. Um, and then at uh, the last thrift store, or no, sorry, I also picked up Life Twists and Turns at a different Salvation Army for uh, seven ninety nine. That game used to go for about, um, about 30 to 40, uh, like, constantly, um, used. Uh, I've had two that I've been sitting on for forever that I haven't sold, but this is, um, this is in shrink wrap, thankfully, so, uh, I think it goes for about 70 to 80 new, um, hopefully be able to get that uh next uh or i guess the last thrift store i uh i found one of these this is another ee 100 special polaroid uh, i think i showed you guys one before in a suitcase possibly um i got this for 15 bucks like it wasn't priced yet and i asked i saw it behind the counter she said make her an offer, um, said to give her $15, and she jumped on it, so I assumed she was only going to price it probably $10. Uh, either way, it was a good deal for me. Uh, I still haven't sold the other one yet. They are slow sells, but um, still pretty pretty good to pick up. Um, same thrift store. I picked up uh, Forbidden Bridge there. That's uh, It's kind of one of the mechanical games that they, they came out with a lot of. Um, the Fireball Island and the, um, can't remember the name of it, but, uh, it kind of had a purple tab, the, uh, Tasmanian Devil on it. Uh, picked, that was $1.99 at the same store. Uh, it's not all complete. There's only a few pieces missing. Hopefully, uh, I can find another copy or I, I might just part it out. Um, and then last I found, uh, uh, Intec link cable for two ninety nine at that same store. It um brand new. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if it'll still go for more than a used one. Um, but hopefully uh, I have it marked at thirty. Uh, I'll probably end up bringing it down to twenty. Um, I still sell these constantly, so I was really happy either way.
Um, next, we'll move on to the yard sales and the thrift stores. Uh, let's go. Let's start with this pile. Uh, so I got all this for thirty dollars. Um, I accidentally scared the lady because I came in through her side yard. I don't think she expected that. Uh, but it was kind of funny. Uh, we both had a laugh. Um, so I picked this all up for $30. She had it all marked individually. Uh, I think I maybe got $6 off by uh, getting it all together. Uh, I'll just go through it. Uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Um, Golden Sun. Uh, Advanced Wars. And Advanced Wars 2. Uh, all about uh, $15 games, which is cool. I uh, got a Game Boy Color Game Shark. And a Game Boy Advanced Game Shark. Uh, Game Boy Color one goes for about thirty bucks, and the Game Boy Advanced one um, it's going for about fifty now. There's another one that kind of has it looks like a handle, um, and it also has one of these printer cable ports, uh, so you can load um, you can load more cheats on through your computer. Um, didn't come with the cable, but like I said, it's just a just a printer cable. Uh, so anyone that buys it and wants to load on more codes than already came preloaded can figure that out. I I've never uh, I've never really used a Game Shark, so I'm not I'm not too into it. Um, and picked up another copy of Axis and Allies. The one I picked up uh, in the last video, the video before, already sold for about forty dollars. So it's pretty happy to find that. Um, came with both discs. Uh, they look good. Uh, pretty happy to find that. And then she said there was a pile of kids games, but at the bottom of the pile of kids games was Digimon World 3, which I was really happy to find. Um, no case, but uh, either way, it's still a, uh, about a $35, $40 game uh, just by itself. Let's see. Uh, I think this was my other yard sale find. It's uh, Streaks, I think, is the name uh, from that uh, show Street Sharks. Uh, it's kind of a wanted to be Ninja Turtles sort of situation. Um, looks good. Uh, probably get like 15 bucks for it. Uh, I only paid 50 cents. Um, it's got some like weird marks. Uh, I haven't tried cleaning them yet. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there or what, but uh, pretty good find. It's my cat still trying to find tape. Um, uh, I guess, oh, this was the art sale find, actually. So, so I found this on Craigslist. They had a bunch of video game stuff. I got there 10 minutes early, which uh, I usually try not to get there early. I don't want to be rude, um, being the early birds. Um, but uh, there's still some stuff left. Uh, I picked this up. This ended up being broken. He only, he only wanted $3 for it. Um, you see there, it's kind of a little bit of battery damage. I... I took the chance for three bucks. I guess it wasn't really worth it. Um, I'm probably just listed online for three bucks uh, on eBay for parts. Somebody probably the screen uh, or the buttons. I don't know. Whoever repairs might want it. Um, and then I also got this for seven dollars. The Game Gear. It works thankfully. Um, it's in good condition. It has both battery covers. Um, no AC adapter or anything, but uh, it's it's fine. Um, uh, I think last time I sold one, it was for 35 bucks, not too bad, but, uh, probably still get around that, maybe 40 I don't, I think, uh, I think the price has actually gone up recently, which is cool. Um, and then, uh, I think I showed you Lord of the Rings Risk already. That came with the $30 stuff, um, so then, uh, I'll just show you those Polaroid cameras, uh, I think I only paid... Three, four, four or five dollars for the the two sons, um, and the one step. I actually ended up buying a lot of broken cameras this weekend, which is a uh, bummer. I'm not gonna bother showing you to them, uh, showing you them. But uh, yeah. So with the broken cameras, I think it it, it averages out to about five dollars a camera. I paid. Um, really a bummer. But I've been selling I've been selling these particular cameras like crazy lately. Uh, I've maybe gone through 10, uh, just this week, uh, so I'm really pumped to find, uh, more of those. Um, I guess next we'll move on to, this was the art sale find, so, uh, this is a, 
uh, Super Nintendo Mini. Um, I asked the lady if she had any video game stuff, and uh, she oh she said uh, oh yeah I do, and she ran kind of into her garage and into her house a little bit, and she pulled out a, a shoebox. Um, she said oh yeah here you go, and I opened it up. Uh, Super Nintendo Mini, which I've never I've never uh, run into these before. Um, I was hoping I would switch it off to my regular Super Nintendo to make some room in uh, my room, uh, but it ended up not working. Uh, but she only she only asked for two dollars, so I took the risk on it anyway. It came with a let's see Donkey Kong Country Three, which ends up working fine. So. Um, so, it, it, more or less, I just paid $2 for Donkey Kong Country 3, a controller, and an AC adapter, which is fine with me. Uh, I might open it up and see if, uh, see if maybe I just need to clean some stuff. It was kind of dirty. It might be water damage, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to fix that or not. Um, yeah, anyway, cool find, regardless of it not working. Um, so, yeah, next, uh, next uh, I think I finally got to the flea market. This was the first thing I found, uh, Warcraft 2 Battle.net Edition. Um, guy asked, guy said $3, like, questioningly, and I said $1, and he said, yeah, that's fine. Um, I think he's just one of those, uh, guys who buys out, um, does house cleanups and storage stuff, so he just, he just wanted what he could get for it. Um, still a $25, $30 game for Warcraft 2 Battle.net. Uh, found this. Walking Dead, uh, pretty good game. Uh, I played it on PS3, played it on Vita. Um, guy wanted five bucks. Asked if he took if he'd take three. He said fine. Um, looks good. Uh, to download all all the episodes of this, I think it's uh, I think it's about twenty or thirty bucks, and then I think the retail it goes for twenty new. Uh, so this this one they came out with a complete edition with the with the expansion, the four hundred days. Um, so this has gone down a little bit. It's about uh, twelve, fifteen dollars still though, which is um, pretty good. Uh, um, and then, what else did I find at that? Oh yeah, I found another Super Nintendo. Um, it was marked at forty-five. Uh, I asked the guy if um, if he'd take twenty-five. I said that's that's all I really had left uh, at the time. He said 30. Um, I asked if we toss in this Game Shark. <laughs> he said, yeah, sure. Um, so I ended up paying $30 for the Game Shark and the Super Nintendo. And uh, then I saw this I saw this sticking out of the back of his car. And I was like, oh, could I see that game? And he opened it up, and inside was uh, was actually this game. It was Jedi Outcast. Uh, either way, I was, I, I was pretty happy. Um, I asked... Uh, I was like, oh, let me take a dollar for it? And he said, oh, sure. Um, I don't know why he wasn't just going to sell the game by itself. But, uh, yeah, I, I was I was pumped. I mean, it would have been better if it was this game. But um, either way, uh, Jedi Outcast about a $12 game. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic is about a $20 game. So, yeah, it definitely would have been better. But for a dollar, either way, uh, I was pretty happy. So I got all that stuff for 31 bucks. Um uh, then I think I moved on to a different flea market in the area. Uh, I believe this was the first thing I grabbed. I think I showed you uh, Galactic Battlegrounds, the Saga um, edition. Uh, that sold, uh, I think, for 55 or $60 already. Um, this is just the standard edition. Um, it's about 20 bucks. Um, actually, I found one of these earlier, but it just didn't register to me that that's what it was. I think I thought it was another... Uh, cheaper uh, game. I didn't end up picking it up, but I'm um, not really sure what happened. But uh, the guy also had a boxed copy of Donkey Kong 64. Uh, I said, oh, I could probably let it go for 50. I mean, that's what it's worth max. So I said, oh, no, that's all right. And he said, well, they're going for 200. And, uh, and I just kind of like, laughed. Uh, they definitely don't go for 200 boxed. Uh, I told him they go for 200 new, and he said they go for 1,000 new, and that's when I knew. He just didn't know what he was talking about, so I just, I just had to walk away. Um, but I did buy that off him for a buck. Uh, and then I think last, uh, it rolled up on this uh, table at the flea market. This lady was, she was just having troubles with, like, tons of her kids. It took me 
probably 10 or 15 minutes to finally do it, but uh, I got this N64, uh, those three games, and a Polaroid camera for uh, it was $33. Uh, this works well. Uh, I ended up cutting this off uh, on purpose, but uh, one of the, both of the wires on the inside were cut in half. I didn't notice when I was buying it. I I, I just bought it because the other controller she had was just kind of destroyed. Like it was literally resting like that. So I bought this. I didn't notice it was broken. Uh, I ended up cutting this off so I didn't accidentally ship it out. But um. I think I'm going to try and take it apart and remove um, the joystick and see if I can uh, see if I can repair um, repair another controller in the future. Um, but yeah, that, the N64 works well, thankfully. So the games were um, the, uh, GoldenEye uh, came with the manual, uh, F-Zero X also came with the manual, and then so this copy of Mortal Kombat 4, just, I don't know wh who decided to draw all over it, but it came with the box. The box is flattened, it's kind of beat up, but um, uh, it, it was a great find anyway. Uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, with the box, even though it's beat up, somebody still wants a beat up box. I think it goes for about 15 bucks. Um, Golden Eyes, about uh, 12 to 14 bucks, uh, probably 14, 15 with the manual. And F Zero is about a $12 game, uh, probably 15 with the manual. Um, and I think that was it, uh, kind of distracted by my cat, I don't know what she's up to, but, uh, yeah, she, she's hiding, anyway, um, so that was everything, uh, besides, I'm not gonna show you the, like, pile of broken cameras I ended up buying, uh, but, um, that's just kind of the risk you have to take with this stuff, uh, even though I inspected it, uh, actually some, some of them even turned over, when I put film in them, but, um, yeah, it's kind of risk you have to take when you buy used stuff to sell. Uh, so remember to always inspect stuff, um, but don't forget, it, it's always good to just take a risk, uh, just like the Super Nintendo. Two dollars, not a big deal, um, still came out with some pretty great stuff. Uh, so that was everything, um, and remember, like, subscribe, uh, comment, and uh, I'll hopefully have another video for you guys uh, next week when I hit up the flea markets and yard sales again. Um, so everybody have a good day. Bye.